The Federal and Valevin Hypermarket jointly present the Tutukudi Marathon 2024 to raise awareness on drug abuse. The event is co-presented by Edison Cardio Care Centre Tiruchendur, powered by L. Anand Jewellery and St. Mother Teresa Engineering College, Tutukudi. Hello Federal viewers, welcome to a special interview with Advocate Mr. Shaukat Ali. He is one of the few supporters who welcome the laws governing, the amendments related to the laws governing uh, work boards. Hello sir, welcome to the show. Thank you ma'am. So the government wants to bring in a uh, lot of transparency, accountability into the functioning of the work boards. Yes. Several Muslim organizations leaders, they say this uh, amendments would weaken uh, the law and uh, All India Muslim Personal Law Board. They say the any interference with the legal status and the powers of the work boards will not be tolerated. But uh, why uh, you support this amendment? Auditing. Uh, the government says, uh, if necessary, central government will send uh, auditors from CAG. We need that because the the amount of money generated by uh, the uh, WAFs are huge, and there is always a chance of pilferation, misappropriation. So many other things are there. See, according to Sachar Committee report, the value of the WAF property way back in 2003, 2006 was 1.26 lakhs crores. The post-independent we had a uh, Waqf Act in 1954, it had a very interesting stipulation, section 11, which stipulated that Muslim uh, members from the Muslim clergy or members who are well versed with Islamic law must be recommended by the state Jamiyatul Ulama and uh, by the Alayadis. These two groups are quite against the Darga culture and most of the Wafs in India are Dargas. Dargas. Okay. So this 1954 act paved way for control of secular Dargas, Wafs properties by these radical elements. Government of India realized this problem and in 1995 they brought a new act which removed the stipulation that you have to get a recommendation from the Jamitul Ulama, Hind, Diobandi and the Alaydis which are whose teachings are quite antithetical to the shrine culture in India. But you Even mean to say they do not they do not believe the Daga system itself, system itself. but they are the ones who govern the entire, the entire property, the of the property. Of property. So a movement grew within the majority Sunnis that these people should go out because they are controlling our property. So this is one of the reasons why this act amendment has been brought because the security uh, of the nation, one of the aspects of the security of the nation is the WAF. So there is an opposition from the uh, Muslim leaders. Uh, about this amendment, uh, particularly to a one factor of including non-Muslims into the board. Uh, but why there is a need, what is the need of including non-Muslims into the work board? Look, who are the people who go to the dargahs? Who are the people who contribute there? You think Muslims? Majority of them are non-Muslims, right? So what is wrong in having them as a, the representative of the work board? I don't think so. There is so you, you are quite okay with uh, non-Muslims being appointed in the work board? When you are okay with the non-Muslims coming and performing, uh, okay. performing, uh, uh, coming as a pilgrims in the uh, in the dargahs, then you should be okay with them, with them in the boards. In the boards. What mm. is wrong? Mm. There are certain uh, certain uh, darga associations. I know. They have uh, they have a rule to have uh, some of the local uh, people, Hindu people or non-Muslim people who come to the waf. Uh, to the dargahs as members of the local committees mm, okay and even in the dar darga there is one big there is a big association i can i uh, think it is uh, i don't remember the name they have uh, uh, they uh, it is a rule that one of them one of them has to be fra from outside the muslim community mm -hmm. one of the office bearers have to be from the from outside the muslim community okay all right it's quite interesting what is wrong because see many of the lands donated by Hindus, right? Kilavan Setupati and Madurai uh, was uh, by uh, by Pandians. The Pandians, uh, uh, Sundra Pandian has uh, given uh, that uh, what is the, the waf name is uh, Kazimar waf, 
who is the person who donated it sundra pandian so we had a lot of hindus donating to the to the waf nagor uh, is one we got a lot of hindus rani mangame has donate, donated to tirichi tirichi a uh, lot of hindus have donated to the waf so why should not there be in the work board Uh, the former minorities affairs minister and bjp leader uh, mukhtar abbas nak we said uh, the work boards uh, should come out of the touch me not syndrome are you on the same page uh, with mr mukhtar abbas nak we yes i i agree with him okay can you elaborate on this yes that's right see i've been telling you the security aspect of the waf have to be uh, have to be taken very seriously so we don't want uh, the radicals to control our assets mm. they are very vital assets okay so we don't want radicals so we want to flush them out so we need to have uh, so they can't uh, take amraj under the act and say so no you can't touch that is what he meant because otherwise uh, 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 what is the way who will build the cat who will build the radical cat you tell me mm-hmm. so you want uh, the government to keep quiet and say this is an ivory tower we cannot touch no it can't be like that then who will build the radical cat somebody has to build them somebody has to stop the waqf properties from falling into the hands of the radicals we have a big security problem all over the world so we cannot let them grow under the feet and if somebody wants to uh, to mow them though we can we cannot call the lawn mower oh you are a very communal person don't touch me i don't agree with that somebody has to do that and now this is a coalition government it's not a bjp led it is a bjp led government majority government is not there if you have any grievances a lot of uh, nda is there you could have muslim uh, members can go and represent and say look this is not correct you give suggestions because this is only a this is only a bill you offer suggestions there has to be an internal reform there has to be an internal resistance to radicalism within the society within the muslims it has to come from the society so let us take this as as a very firm step because we have to protect our children we have to protect our nation from the rise of radical elements because if some radical controls a mosque which is a waqf property what happens how about the inclusion of women uh, that factor how far women are included in waqf boards as of now when i spoke to a couple of uh, the uh, muslim leaders they said already many women are into the boards yes the, but how independent are they yes how they are independent but uh, this is not about uh, having women uh, in the waqf board it's about uh, the role of the waqf board in uh, dispensive dispensing uh, aid to divorced women to orphans etc etc that way the work board say work act says that you have to dispense a lot of uh, relief to the women okay that is what the I, already there are women i think two uh, two women compulsorily they have to be two two women in the work board way back it was brought in 2013 when the congress was there this amendment talks about uh, uh, the charity part of the uh, work boards because the work boards as a representative of the waqf what is a waqf it's just a charity it's a charity with religious uh, outlook so they have to dispense some uh, some relief earlier i think there was a supreme court judgment which says that uh, divorced women hmm. and the uh, imams and all these people they are getting pensions from the waqf board how they are because there's a contribution by the waqfs and the government is also contributing to to the waqf fund which is a uh, total waqf uh, waqf board fund from that from that they can disperse to uh, deserving uh, women okay d- uh, destitute women late and then uh, orphans The Federal and Wellevin Hypermarket jointly present the Tutukudi Marathon 2024 to raise awareness on drug abuse. The event is co-presented by Edison Cardio Care Center Tiruchendur powered by L Anand Jewelry and St Mother Teresa Engineering College Tutukudi.